Playing with Power MTG. Powerful cards, powerful formats. Be sure to check out Dragon Shield for all of the best accessories to protect your decks. TCG Player for cards at great prices while supporting local game stores. And Patreon where you get awesome benefits for your direct support. We have two more wielders of the Legacy from our Patreon Discord joining us for tonight's game. For more information on the Legacy Weapon Quest, check out our explanation in our other gameplay video linked below. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe to our channel. It only takes a second, costs nothing to do, and goes such a long way in helping us out in the process. If you'd like to help out financially, consider signing up to our Patreon, buying some merchandise, or purchasing from the TCG Player links in the description below. Now, let's start out by showcasing our fighters this evening. First, we have Gus, piloting the partner pair of Thrasios Triton Hero and Tevish Zot, Doom of Fools. This deck looks to gain advantage before powering out threatening planeswalkers to help close out the game. Gus's opening hand contains a Mystic Remora, Skull Clamp, Mana Vault, Mox Diamond, Ancient Tomb, Wooded Foothills, and his London Mulligan is a Chrome Mox. Next, we have Ryan, piloting Godo, Bandit Warlord. This deck seeks to create a ton of mana to power out its commander and go infinite with Helm of the Host. Ryan's opening hand contains a Lotus Petal, Wheel of Misfortune, Desperate Ritual, Pyroblast, Snow-Covered Mountain, and his London Mulligans are a Cursed Mirror and a Goblin Matron. After that, we have Alex, piloting the partner pair of Timna the Weaver and Kamal, Heart of Crozia. This deck seeks to slow down the board through stacks and hate bears and closes out the game by casting its commander, pumping his team, and swinging. Alex's opening hand contains a Savannah, Sarah Ascendant, Elvish Spirit Guide, Avacyn's Pilgrim, Marsh Flats, Worldly Tutor, and a Gideon of the Trials. Finally, we have Cal, piloting the partner pair of Malcolm, Keen-Eyed Navigator, and Tana the Bloodsower. This deck seeks to cast Malcolm and combo off with Glenhorn Buccaneer. Cal's opening hand contains a Breeding Pool, Sylvan Library, Time Twister, a Braid, Bloodstained Mire, Steam Vents, and a Dockside Extortionist. Without further ado, let's begin this baffling barrage of babbling babes. Gus won the juggling competition and gets to start us off. Gus draws a card for turn and plays an Ancient Tomb. He casts a Mox Diamond, discarding Wooded Foothills. He taps his Ancient Tomb to cast Mana Vault. He casts a turn one, Tevish Zot. He activates Tevish's first ability, creating two thralls. After his blazing turn one, Gus passes. Ryan draws a card for turn and plays a snow-covered mountain. He casts a Lotus Petal. He cracks his petal to cast Desperate Ritual. He adds three red and casts Wheel of Misfortune. It resolves and each player chooses a number. They each reveal and Ryan reveals a seven and each other player reveals a zero. Ryan loses seven, discards his hand and draws seven cards. Ryan casts a Mana Crypt. Ryan ends his turn. Alex draws and plays a Savannah. He exiles Elvish Spirit Guide from his hand for a green. He casts Sarah Ascendant. He casts Avacyn's Pilgrim. Alex ends his turn. Cal draws and plays a Bloodstained Mire. He passes. During his draw step, Gus takes a damage from his Mana Vault. He casts a Jeweled Lotus. He casts Mystic Remora. He taps his Ancient Tomb to cast Skull Clamp. He activates Tevish's first ability, creating two more thralls. He activates Skull Clamp, equipping it to a thrall, killing it, and drawing two cards. He gives the turn to Ryan. During his upkeep, Ryan wins his Mana Crypt roll. He draws and plays a Cavern of Souls, naming Human as it enters. Ryan passes. During his upkeep, Alex casts Worldly Tutor. Remora triggers and Gus draws. Tutor resolves and Alex fetches up a Collector Oof onto the top of his library. He draws and plays a Gaia's Cradle for turn. He casts Collector Oof. He moves to combat and attacks Tevish with everything. Tevish takes it all and Alex gains 6. Alex ends his turn. At the end of Alex's turn, Cal cracks his Bloodstained Mire, pays a life, and fetches up a Stomping Ground onto the battlefield tapped. Cal draws and plays a Breeding Pool into play untapped paying 2 life. Cal ends his turn. During his upkeep, Gus taps his Ancient Tomb to pay for his Remora. During his draw step, he takes the damage from his Mana Vault. He activates Tevish, sacrificing a Thrall and drawing two cards. He plays a Marsh Flats for turn. He cracks it, pays a life, and fetches up a Watery Grave into play tapped. Gus gives the turn to Ryan. At the end of Gus's turn, Ryan casts a Braid, targeting Collector Oof. Remora triggers and Gus draws. Collector Oof dies and Ryan moves to his turn. During his upkeep, Ryan wins his Mana Crypt roll. He draws and plays a City of Traders for turn. He casts Rite of Flame. Remora triggers and Gus draws. In response, Gus pays 2 life and casts Mental Misstep, countering Rite of Flame. With no more red mana, Ryan passes. Alex draws and plays a Marsh Flats. He cracks it, pays a life, and fetches up a Scrubland onto the battlefield. He casts his commander, Timna the Weaver. He moves to combat and attacks Cal with his Avacyn's Pilgrim and Tevish with Sarah Ascendant. Cal takes it, Tevish dies, and Alex gains 6. 
In his second main phase, Alex pays one and draws one through Timna. Alex gives a turn to Cal. At the end of Alex's turn, Cal casts Worldly Tutor. Remora triggers and Gus draws. Tutor resolves and Cal fetches up a Glenhorn Buccaneer onto the top of his library. Cal draws and plays a Steam Vents into play untapped, paying two life. He casts Dockside Extortionist. It resolves and in response, Gus cracks his Jewel Lotus. Then Cal creates five treasures. He casts his commander, Malcolm, Keen-Eyed Navigator. Cal gives a turn to Gus. During his upkeep, Gus lets his Remora die. During his draw step, he takes a damage from his Mana Vault. He draws and casts Culling Ritual. In response, Cal casts Fierce Guardianship where its alternate cost, countering the spell. Gus passes, discarding to hand size. During his upkeep, Ryan wins his Mana Crypt roll. He draws and taps his City of Traders for two. He plays a Snow-Covered Mountain, sacrificing City of Traders. He casts his commander, Goto, Bandit Warlord. It resolves, and Ryan fetches up a Helm of the Host onto the battlefield. Ryan casts Magnetic Theft. In response, Cal casts a Braid, destroying Helm of the Host. Magnetic Theft then fizzles, and Ryan passes the turn. Alex draws and plays a Bloodstained Mire. He cracks it, pays a life, and fetches up a Bayou onto the battlefield. He moves the combat and attacks Cal with Sarah Ascendant, Gus with Timna, and Ryan with Avacyn's Pilgrim. Ryan agrees not to block only if the cards he draws are used against Cal's imminent threat. Alex agrees, they declare no blocks, take it, and Alex gains 8 life. In his second main phase, Alex pays 3 and draws 3 through Timna. He casts Recruiter of the Guard. It resolves, and Alex fetches up a Skyclave Apparition into his hand. He casts Mox Diamond, discarding Flooded Strand. He casts Skyclave Apparition. It resolves, and Alex exiles Cal's Malcolm, with Cal putting it into the command zone. With nothing else, Alex ends his turn. Cal draws and casts Sylvan Library. He passes. During his draw step, Gus takes a damage from his Mana Vault. In his main phase, he taps his Ancient Tomb to equip Skull Clamp to a Thrall, killing it, drawing two cards. He plays a Breeding Pool, into play untapped, paying two life. He casts Felwar Stone. He casts Deathrite Shaman. Gus passes. During his upkeep, Ryan wins his Mana Crypt roll. He draws and plays a Snow-Covered Mountain. He casts Goblin Welder, which puts everyone on high alert. Ryan passes to Alex. Alex draws and plays an Arid Mesa. He casts his Commander, Kamal, Heart of Crozier. In response, Gus casts Mana Drain, countering Kamal. Alex cracks his Arid Mesa, pays a life, and fetches up a Temple Garden into play untapped, paying two life. He moves to combat and attacks Gus with Timna, Ryan with Sarah Ascendant, and Cal with Skyclave Apparition. They all take it, and Alex gains 8. In his second main phase, he pays 3 and draws 3 through Timna. He casts Imperial Seal. He fetches up a card onto the top of his library and loses 2 life. Alex gives a turn to Cal. During his draw step, Cal draws 2 extra through Sylvan Library and pays 4 life to keep 1 extra. He plays a Polluted Delta for turn. He cracks it, pays a life, and fetches up a Tropical Island onto the battlefield. He casts Phantasmal Image. It resolves and enters as a copy of Dockside Extortionist. It triggers, and Cal creates six treasures. He recasts his commander, Malcolm. Cal passes to Gus. During his draw step, Gus takes the damage from his Mana Vault. In his main phase, he adds eight colorless mana through Mana Drain. He plays a City of Brass for turn. He activates Skull Clamp, killing a Thrall and drawing two cards. He casts a Talisman of Dominance. He casts Teferi, Master of Time. He activates Teferi's first ability, drawing and discarding. He taps his City of Brass and his Ancient Tomb to cast Witchclaw Talisman. He activates Wishclaw, fetching a card into his hand and giving it to Alex. He activates Deathrite, exiling Polluted Delta from Cal's graveyard and adding a black. He equips Skull Clamp to Deathrite. He casts Toxic Deluge, paying 6 life. It resolves, wiping the board. Skull Clamp triggers and Gus draws 2. He casts Crop Rotation, sacrificing his Ancient Tomb. He fetches up an Exotic Orchard onto the battlefield. He casts Counterbalance. Changing the game entirely in one turn, Gus gives the turn to Ryan. During his upkeep, Ryan loses his Mana Crypt roll and takes 3 damage. He draws and passes. At the end of Ryan's turn, Gus activates Teferi, drawing and discarding. Alex draws and plays a Brushland for turn. He casts Yasharn, Implacable Earth. Counterbalance triggers and Gus reveals an Oko, Thief of Crowns. Yasharn resolves and Alex fetches up a Snow-Covered Forest and Snow-Covered Plains into his hand. He casts Bloom Tender. Counterbalance triggers, and in response, Gus activates Teveri, drawing and discarding. Then Counterbalance resolves, and Gus reveals a command tower. Bloom Tinder resolves, and Alex passes to Cal. During his draw step, Cal draws two extra through Sylvan Library, paying four to keep one extra. He casts Gamble. Counterbalance triggers, and in response, Gus activates Teferi, drawing and discarding. Then Counterbalance resolves, and Gus reveals Peer into the Abyss. 
Then Cal fetches up a card into his hand and discards a card at random, which is a glint horned buccaneer, which feels extra bad. He casts Imperial Recruiter. It resolves, and Cal fetches up a dual caster mage into his hand. Cal passes. During his draw step, Gus takes a damage from his mana vault. He plays a command tower for turn. He casts his commander, Thrasios, Triton Hero. He casts Seedborn Muse. In response, Ryan casts Tybalt's Trickery. Counterbalance triggers, and Gus reveals a mystical tutor. Then Gus responds by activating Teferi, drawing and discarding. Seedborn is countered, Gus mills one, and then reveals until he hits a dark ritual. He casts it, adding three black. He equips Skull Clamp to Thrasios and gives the turn to Ryan. During his upkeep, Ryan loses his Mana Crypt roll and takes three damage. He draws, takes no actions, and passes. At the end of Ryan's turn, Gus activates Teferi, drawing and discarding. Alex draws and plays a Snow-Covered Plains for turn. He recasts his commander, Kamal. In response, Gus taps his City of Brass to cast Mystical Tutor. He fetches up a Force of Will onto the top of his library. He activates Teferi, drawing and discarding. He goes to cast Force of Will, but Alex reminds him of the Yasharn on the battlefield, which prevents him from paying life to cast it. Bummed out, Kamal resolves. He moves to combat, Kamal triggers, and Alex's creatures get plus three, plus three, and trample. He attacks Gus directly with Yasharn. He blocks with Thrasios, takes the rest, and dies. Alex passes. During his draw step, Cal draws two extra through Sylvan Library, putting two back on top. He plays a Volcanic Island for turn. He casts Twin Flame, targeting Imperial Recruiter. He holds priority and flashes in a dual caster mage. It resolves, triggers, and targets Twin Flame. In response, Alex casts Swords to Plowshares, exiling dual caster mage with Cal gaining two life. Then the ability resolves, Twin Flame copies, Cal gets another Imperial Recruiter, and it triggers. Cal fetches up an Eternal Witness into his hand. Then the original Twin Flame resolves, copies Recruiter again, and Cal fetches up a Snapcaster Mage into his hand. He moves to combat and attacks Ryan with both copies of Recruiter. Ryan takes it, and Cal passes. At the end of Cal's turn, Ryan cycles Starstorm, drawing a card. During his upkeep, Ryan loses his Mana Crypt roll and takes three damage. He draws and plays a Dwarven Ruins into play tapped. Ryan passes. Alex draws and plays a Snow-Covered Forest. He recasts his commander, Timna. He moves to combat and Kamal triggers. His team gets plus three, plus three, and trample. He attacks Ryan with everything. Ryan takes it all and dies. In his second main phase, Alex pays one life and draws one card through Timna. He casts an Arbor Elf. He casts a Priest of Titania. He casts Gideon of the Trials. He activates Gideon's second ability, creating an emblem. Alex passes to Cal. During his draw step, Cal draws two extra through Sylvan Library. He pays eight life to keep them both. He plays a City of Brass for turn. He casts Time Twister. Both players shuffle their hands and graveyards into their libraries and draw seven. Unfortunately, Cal couldn't find what it needed and passes to Alex. Alex draws and activates Kamal, animating three lands. He moves to combat and Kamal triggers, giving his team plus three, plus three, and trample. He attacks Cal with everything, killing him and winning the game. Ladies and gentlemen, what an awesome game. Congrats to Alex on his win. He was able to gain an advantage, recover quickly after setbacks, and close the game with his commander. Kamal may be expensive to cast, but the power it has the turn it hits can prove to be lethal in the right deck. The most valuable card goes to Yasharn, Implacable Earth. This card may have landed late in the game, but it set back many players' ability to interact. Treasures and fetch lands became worthless, and Gus's force of will was for naught. This pig did big work the moment it hit the battlefield. Well, that about wraps it up for this episode. Tune in next time when we duke it out to see who will be king of the competitive EDH table. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you next time. All right, Patreon shoutout time. I'd like to give a shout out to Cameron James, Ricky Undercuff Fleur, Justice for Dak, Gabriel Adams, Thomas Thurber, uh. Katarina? Katrina? Uh, Katarina? Lo Noah Quirswell, Nod Noodle, Nicholas Tatum, Anton Oberg, Tom Spackman, Ryan Wright, Otto Von Trapp, Ivan, Connor Holtz, Nathan Smith, Willow Lysander, Pyro, Dark, Philip Hickey, Jacob Cromer, Brad Tobin, Matt Wingrove, Delph Driz, Chad Hendricks, Dante, Christian L. Sutfin, Ryan Brower, Rune, Rikeko, Michael Hallett, Paul M. Toll, Quick Draw, Zods, Kobe Smith, 
James Cody Halley, Spielrahu, CZ, Taylor Coran, Darius Mitchell, King of Sharks, Liam, Caleb Pretty, Tonton 101, Jacob Simpson, and Thomas Bowers. Thank you all very much.